and welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Quick and Dirty How-To. It seems a few people have watched this. It was a quick test we did over the weekend to see if we could broadcast live from Linux to Twitch.tv. It turns out it's relatively easy, and with a small change, you can also broadcast to Justin.tv. That's what we're going to cover, but before we even start that, do keep in mind if you have a four-year-old laptop with Intel integrated graphics, you're going to have a bad time. But if you have something recent, you might enjoy this. You could even call it a Linux Gamecast. Yeah, that's pretty horrible, isn't it? Let's go. So you want to broadcast to Twitch.tv or even Justin TV. We're going to cover both of those in this quick and dirty how-to. But before I get started, this is where I found the script. Reddit.com, Linux Gaming. Great site. Good suggestions and useful links. Bon, script for streaming on Twitch.tv. This is what we ended up with at guest.github.com. Is this little script that uses AV Convert stream to either Twitch or Justin TV. So to get started, we need to highlight the script and copy this. And from here, I'm just going to open up a text editor. You can use what you like and paste it in. Now, the only bit from this we need to change initially is your stream key. Now, for Justin TV, that's at justin.tv forward slash broadcast forward slash ADV underscore other and click show. And if you're worried about showing off my stream key, trust me, I've regenerated it since then. But if you want to show your video games, you definitely want to go to twitch.tv forward slash broadcast and hit show key. And that's what we're going to use for this example. So. Let's just copy our stream key and go back to our untitled text file. And from here you want to set just your general resolution and your in res, so whatever your screen's running at. I'm running right now at 1280 by 720. So I'm going to out res that at 720 by 480. Not an exact match, but that's what you saw in the intro video. You can use anything you want. It depends on how many cores you have and how powerful those cores are. For me, I have a quad-core AMD 640. So, I'm going to pay attention to how many threads I want to use. I want to use four, since I have four physical cores. And I'm going to change our bandwidth from 712 to 1 megabit, since I have a full megabit up without any issues. Now once you have that together, let's just save that as a script file. And for example, I'm just going to put it on the desktop and we will call it twitch.sh. And we can save that. Now what we need to do is create a file that is twitch.key. All we have to do is save that stream key to it. So let's create a new file, paste it on stream key, and we will save that to your home directory as dot twitch underscore key. Now that's saved, we can close out. From here, we'll have our twitch.sh script. I'm just going to open that from a terminal. And we should be broadcasting to twitch.tv. Let's have a look. From here, I will go to my channel.
and you can see we're live. And you can go ahead and launch a game or anything like that. But do keep in mind the system requirements. I'll launch HTOP. And you can see just this broadcast is pretty much maxing out all four cores. So keep that in mind when you're broadcasting a game. And if you're going to be broadcasting on Justin, just regular video, it's no big deal. Don't overheat your box. Cheers.